fam, this is Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is doing great. Um, um, Sunday morning on my way to the gym. Uh, early trying to beat everybody there. Um, and I decided to switch things up. Normally this would be where I would do one of my inspirational videos for uh, the Vision and Institute, but <clears throat> I have had a lot of stuff come across my desk that highlights what I predicted 15 years ago and 10 years ago is coming to fruition. Uh, and we're either none the wiser or we feel helpless are we too wrapped up in our individual lives to see what's going on? And one of my biggest struggles with us is that we're so individualized that we don't see the collective impact and what it ha what will happen one way or another. Either we get our stuff together and we make a positive collective impact and we empower ourselves or we will continue to be mishandled misused, uh, mistreated, uh, targeted, and self-harming. And we are on the ladder right now. We are working in ways unimaginable to destroy ourselves from a lack of inactivity, a lack of investment, a lack of awareness. Uh, we are watching our progeny, our, our offspring, literally destroy themselves and I see so much giftedness in them I see so much creativity in this generation I see so much but I see no direction I see no feeling of really truly being protected and loved I see a bunch of people searching for truth searching for awareness searching for identity I've talked about identity crisis uh, in my book born in Cat captivity I'm going to be doing a series well I've started a series uh, that's going to come out of that book that's going to just highlight the things that are going on what I've predicted over the years and what I see coming to fruition <clears throat> just like Dr. Claude Anderson predicted uh, that if we didn't change by 2013 in the way we handled business and the way we handled our money that we would become a permanent underclass that's all but true right now uh, there's very limited room for change, the wealth gaps are widening, not narrowing. The, for all this flash that we are putting out there, we are becoming more and more distanced from the source of power, which is wealth in comparison. It doesn't matter how much you have if the person that uh, is your enemy has a hundred and something times more than you. So what are we doing wrong? That's going to be always the question. The reason I'm doing this is because um, there are programs out there, not just with the Odyssey Project, but definitely with the Odyssey Project. We have a research arm that's over the last what, 25 years uh, with me spearheading it has done unbelievable research that has led to a number of discoveries, a number of reinforced uh, theories, and even uh, created some theories, some ideas, and some programs have come out of that. I have developed programs. We also have a think tank, one of the few think tanks dedicated to black progress in the U.S. And we consult great minds, but we pool great minds. We look at the research. We come up with solutions based off of the research, based off of facts. Not how we're feeling when we see someone get shot in the street, but because we know what led to it, what we can do to mitigate it, what we can do to mitigate violence, what we can do to mitigate intimate partner violence and intimate partner homicide, which is a major issue. When you've got uh, females in your racial group from age 15 to 44 and the second leading cause for most of them, uh, most of that age group, is intimate partner homicide. That's a problem. We, we can't complain about them. Well, we can and we should, but we can't just sit up and look at them as being a problem in, in the destruction, the physical destruction of our people when we are single-handedly uh, creating a uh, major, major health issue within our own group just by violence. And if we're not killing our women, we're killing each other. 
I'm telling you, I've got five cases on my desk from last week alone of some form of intimate partner homicide. Not just violence. The violence stuff just keeps coming. I can't even talk about that fast enough. And yes, I know all the numbers. And I, yes, I know that uh, intimate partner, I mean, intimate, intimate partner violence or domestic violence has two, two sides and that our women are almost equally likely to cause uh, physical harm to, to their mate as, as, as men. Uh, but we kill at a much higher rate. They will hit. And that can be, you know, very damaging in a bunch of different ways. But we tend to harm at a greater distance and we tend to harm when triggered in certain areas. We need to deal with all that. I've done the research. I put it together. But something as simple as I keep saying it and I don't know if people don't believe it or if people believe it from what I get and how many people come to me and want to do something. Uh, or want me to help them. I believe people believe it. At least some people believe it because people are acting on it as far as trying to get it, but as far as supporting it, I don't know. But this is the thing. Something as simple in system, you know, it's not simple in impact. It's simple in system as racial, proper racial socialization. First of all, every child should be socialized or they won't be prepared to enter into society and be pro uh, pro-social and productive but our black children have to be racially socialized especially young black boys racial socialization is the socialization that's specific to the challenges that they're going to face to the demands that they need to meet to their place in the world understanding their unique challenges as black males and black man lead is a rite of passage that does that it's specifically designed to socialize it has become much more over time it's become uh wraparound services for older guys uh it's become mental health for guys and we also have mental health uh solutions for uh our females actually i was in that doing that vein before i even got into mental health for men because at least women will come seek it or admit they need it. Our men, uh, we've got a big, big thing in that we're working on. And one of the things we're teaching our young boys is okay to feel. Because the problem, a big part of the problem with the emotional stability on the back end where they're harming their mates is they don't know how to process their feelings because they were told they weren't supposed to have them. And, you know, any feelings they feel, especially when they don't have a control mechanism to turn them off or to change what made it feel that way, they become violent. This isn't making an excuse. This is telling you what's happening. Um, it's no excuse to harm our women. There's no exception to that. But what we are going to have to understand is there is absolutely a need to address it on the front end. If you don't address sources, you're going to always have symptoms. It's that symptom. Simple. So I'm asking everybody, look, small goal today just want to get momentum going moving into 2023 so that we can aggressively meet the challenges that we face as a people uh one of the biggest ones is violence in our community uh i'm going to be talking to you guys about financial ineptitude i'm going to be talking to you guys about mental health i'm going to be talking to you guys about marriage and family uh identity so many more things over the course of the weeks but uh here's the simple challenge today i want to raise one thousand dollars in the grand scheme of things made just a drop in the bucket but it's a thousand dollars that we don't have as a resource right now that we're we're asking for we are doing what we do but we're asking for a lot more than that but we're asking today let that be the goal one thousand dollars uh towards the programs that we uh, operate primarily starting with black man lead but also restoring ghettos forgotten daughters um also music is life also the empower uh black community empowerment initiative which is pretty expansive in and of itself and it includes a lot of the work we're doing in the community outside of children and so look we need your support uh we need support to support the um the research research isn't free 
despite uh, the access of Google, it's a lot more deeper than that. And it takes a lot more energy, effort, time, and manpower to do it. Uh, also, uh, our think tank, we want to make that more robust. Uh, we want to make it be more globally dynamic. And again, that takes resources. Um, we can continue to play small and we're going to continue to get small and they're continuing to get bigger and we're still feeling the brunt of their forces and all we have to do is complain and go vote for for a party that hasn't done jack for us since the 60s and think everything's going to get better only thing's going to change our situation is power but we have to learn how to create it and then we learn how to, have to learn how to manage it and we have to learn how to sustain it uh, that's it for me. Look, I'm going to get in the gym, finish this workout so I can get my day started. Uh, thanks for listening to me. You guys have an unbelievable day.